Hey guys, Emilio here. Today I want to show you how to do a baby duckling. How cute is that? I absolutely love baby things like baby goat, baby duckling, baby lamb, baby sheep, which is a lamb. So we're going to do a baby, baby duck, a duckling, and it's going to be standing in front of an Easter egg. You don't have to draw the Easter egg if you don't want to. Some people don't like drawing Easter eggs, they just want to draw the animal, so it's totally up to you. But you want the paper to be landscape. Ta da! And you want a pencil, but I'm going to use a pen. So the first thing you're going to need is think of an Oreo. So, oh man, the pen I use runs out. So you want, I mean, it's quite nice to go around it more than once. I'm doing it quite lightly because we want to rub some of it out. So it's basically a massive Oreo or a big pizza. And then above it, another one, but they're not touching. I'm going around it more than once just to get my perfect circle. Can you see that it's leaning? Like that isn't straight up. It's not like a snowman. It's kind of leaning that way. Oh man, the sun's on it. I love the fact that the moment I start recording, the sun comes out. And if I go out for a walk, it starts raining. I mean, I don't know what that's about, but there we are. So we want to join this up. So the Oreo gets joined up. That gets joined up. So it's all joined up now. But then we want to create some legs. So you can have one little itty bitty leg going there. One coming down. So it's like a triangle almost. And then one there one there just think quite chunky they're not that thin do a little line that joins up to there and he's gonna have fluffy bits so it's gonna be like oh. can you see how i turned my pen so it goes that way and then that way so it's almost like a v shape in some ways and we want to do a little wing so i'm gonna go mine's a bit of a chicken wing i don't know why. and then another little wing there Looks kind of weird at the moment, but do not worry. Do not panic because we're going to rub some stuff out. So on the Oreo, you want a line like that. So just do like a little line and then a line like that. Then we're going to create a massive beak. So you're going to go. And it's going to have a little dot on it. It's quite nice to do underneath the beak as well, like just a little line. And what I quite like to do is make the head look less round here. So we're going to go up straight a bit more. Feel free to do it fluffy. Like fluffy's really good. It's just almost like zigzaggy lines. And we want to rub out quite a bit. So let's get the rubber. Rub out. Well, basically it's the whole neck we're rubbing. I kind of need some more. You're going to rub it with a nice eraser, not Tipex, because I'm only using Tipex to show you. Yeah, if you need that. Oh my gosh, I've put it everywhere. Okay. Don't know if you can hear that dog, it's my next door neighbour's dog howling. Okay. That is my little chickadee. No, it's not. It's a duck. Whoops. Right, big eye. Now, it'd be quite fun to do a cartoon eye. I'm just going to do a really big eye like that. Oh. Now, the legs are done, but the feet are really cute because they're going to go... You think they're almost like umbrellas? Like that. That's all it is. Do you know what I mean? Just make it simple for you, otherwise it gets a bit complicated. He kind of looks like he's about to fall over, which kind of ducks to kind of look like that, don't they? Um, I kind of want to say that that bit looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, I guess if you wanted to, we can make it look less round so you've got more of a, can you see it? More of a gap there. If that feels better to you, I think that probably does feel better to me, if I'm honest. Okay, and then with the sunshine 
shining on my face, which is quite nice, I guess. We're gonna do an Easter egg. But as I say, don't do it if you don't want to, it's fine. I wanted to do an Easter egg because I love drawing bows. So you could do a present, or you could do a bow around its neck in a nice way. So I'm just doing a, a circle-y colour, um, a kind of like a, <laughs> I can't say it. It's like a, I was gonna say oblong. It's like a Pikachu. It's like a circle. No, it's not. It's like a rectangle, rectangle. And then a baby rectangle, then you've got this bit, and then this bit. And then this goes down, this goes down. I'll do that again. You've got the ear lying down and then come from here again and just twirl around because this is the other bit of the, um, I've got no words today, have I, of the bow. You could just leave the bow or do the bow on it like that. I quite like that. I quite like that. I don't know if I'm that bothered about doing an egg though. And then you could just decorate it. Whatever shapes. I quite like stripes, to be honest. Not sure why I did that, if I like stripes, but there we are. And to make it look fluffy, maybe just do that, because it kind of makes him look like he's got more fluff. He's got a little bit of fluff. My Easter egg does look a little bit wobbly. You're better off drawing the Easter egg all the way round and then wherever it touches the duck, rub out. Because otherwise you end up with a bit of a wobbly Easter egg like my one was. So that. It's better, isn't it? It's better. I like that. Now, you can put some daisies on the floor, some flowers, but I'm going to put some grass. I don't really have to put anything, to be honest. But And I'm going to paint my little one. He's going to be a young... Okay, I'm not going to say what's just happened there, but the paint's just come off and you know my finger? Well imagine that all over my table and my phone. Never mind, these things happen, hey? <laughs> oh man, right. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to learn from that there. I think maybe, I don't know what to say about that. Keep the lid on. Right, let's try and paint this without getting covered in more paint. I'm doing yellow, but I think if you're doing this as like a really fun greeting card or something, you could you could outline the whole thing in, in black pen, couldn't you? It'd look quite nice. He's like a cute little, gosh, he's very yellow, isn't he? And we want orange. Orange for his beak. It's a very simple colour, really, isn't it? And his legs. I mean, his legs are going to be mostly yellow. Well, no, they're going to be kind of pinky, aren't they? I've got paint everywhere, so excuse me, but I'm a bit traumatised by the paint going everywhere. I'm not really sure how to clean that up. I'm trying to pretend it didn't happen. Okay. Oh, he looks kind of cool. Then we're going to give him a black eye. Not literally. Oh, There we are. Look, he looks kind of cute like that. Right, my Easter egg's slightly more complicated, it feels. I don't know what happened with that yellow. I'm scared to put any paint out now because it goes everywhere. I don't know why it's happening to me. But anyway, moving on. Right, I'm going to do pink. I don't even like this colour, but I'm going to do it just to show you an idea of what it's going to look like if you wanted to colour it. I'm not doing it that neat, as you can tell, so it's just so you can see. Yeah, wait, I'm not doing it at all neat. <laughs> It's okay as we laugh our way through things in life. Okay. Okay, guys. 
do I kind of like this color I guess just didn't like it being too dark and then what color should we do the kind of like blue we might do a bluey green I don't know what color I've got but I've just found it somewhere so the bow is going to be kind of like a green oh I just dripped it's not going too well is it for me what's going on I quite like that actually I'm not sure why but I do right let's do some orange I'm not sure whether orange would go with these yeah that's quite nice isn't it and then I always like doing a background of some sort but you don't need to but if you want to I'll definitely outline everything as well by the way but Oh no, what's happened to all my colours have gone wrong. It's not looking like a good day, is it, for me today? Right, I'm doing a bit of a background. I don't want to colour all the background. I'm just going to go like that. I've done that in most of my videos lately, but I just think it outlines it quite nicely. I'm not actually, because I drew everything in marker, oh, I just want blue paint on it. I'd, I'm, I've probably been the messiest I've ever been today. I'm not sure what's happening, but I don't know really. Can you see how cute he looks with the blue? At least my picture's looking nice, even though I'm covered in, and I've got a white shirt on, so I'm a bit scared about getting covered in it in a minute. I don't think Bob Ross get, got covered in paint. Maybe it's just me. So, I am quite messy though, I must say. Anyway, right, there we are, look. Ta da! <laughs> I quite like that. I like that. The thing is, it's nice to do some detail on the, um, on like the, oh, I keep calling him a chicken. On the duck, like if you just add a bit of shade in, just to make it look more interesting. But you've got to blend it in. But he looks quite fluffy if you do that. So I rinse my brush, dry it, and just go around the edges so it doesn't look like it's just plonked on. It's quite nice as well to do a bit of white. I'm scared about opening the white. Oh, I can't open the white. Okay, something's coming up. Do a little bubble of white. Because he's he's quite fluffy, that's kind of cute. I do think <sighs> I've got a thing about those circles. I'm not sure. You know when you look at something and you're like, hmm. I think I'd go my white's not coming out really, am I? Supposed to be a beautiful white. It's not happening. I'm just. Okay, well, well, something's happening, but. I don't know, it's making a hissing sound. Like a snake. <laughs> okay, that's roughly what I wanted. It's just nice to outline things. So yeah, feel free to outline it. I think if I had more time, which I probably have to be fair, you could do go around the edges with a darker blue. Honestly, I don't know what's happening. I've just lost the lid. Okay, this is a darker blue. So we can go around. If you mix a bit of blue with green as well, it looks like a turquoise. It's quite cool. But can you see how, how nice it looks? If it's dark mixed in with the light. And it blends out. And when I say blend, I mean this. I'll just do it and I'll show you what I mean. So you rinse the brush out, dry it and just blend the edges, give it a go. Adults find this quite hard. 
So if you're a child doing it, it's good practice, you know. And if you're an adult doing it, enjoy. Because the more you do it, the better you're going to feel confident at it. Voila! I also like the idea, but I probably won't do it today because I'll get covered in it. But you... Oh, I've got blue on my shirt. This teaches me to wear something white. You can get white paint and splodge over it. That can look quite cool. But the bow definitely make it stand out. I don't know what I've done with my brush. Obviously do this a lot neater. But I just want to show you because of the camera. Because uh, of the recording, I want to do it quicker. Cheeky chicken. No, it's a dark. It's a dark, guys. It's a talk. Once the blue's done, you could do, get some white and do some fluffy bits around it. Do you know what I mean? You could get some white and just make the body more fluffy. Ooh, I like that. Try that. But yeah, you could fiddle with it forever, but it will look really cool. The fluffier it is, the better, because it is a baby duckling. I've established that now, haven't I? Not an elephant, and it's not a chicken. Right, ta -da! There we go. Enjoy doing your baby, enjoy doing your duckling and your Easter egg. Let me know how it goes, and I shall see you soon. Bye.